On this day is a caption that comes up frequently on beetle related sites, but they are more interested in the photo and explain very little about the event. My father was late home from work in the night shift. He had been questioned by police, along with other motorists I hasten to add. The police had just launched a murder hunt after a man was found shot dead and his companion seriously wounded in a lay-by in Bedfordshire. The couple were found by a police patrol in the lay-by on the A6 at Dead Man's Hill, near the village of Clockhill, at 6.45am on the 23rd of August 1961. The abandoned church at Clockhill has a long history of recorded hauntings and supposed satanic rituals. The dead man found by police at the aptly named Dead Man's Hill was identified as physicist Michael John Gregston, who had been shot twice in the head with a 38 calibre revolver. His companion and lover, laboratory assistant Valerie Storey, had been raped and shot five times in the chest and spent the rest of her life in a wheelchair. Petty criminal James Hanratty was arrested and controversially found guilty. He would become known as the A6 murderer and was hanged at Bedford Jail on the 4th of April 1962. Seven years later, on the 11th of December 1969, John Lennon and Yoko Ono appeared carrying a Britain murdered Hanratty placard at the premiere of The Magic Christian, starring Ringo Starr and Peter Sellers. Lennon and Ono met the parents of James Hanratty, the so-called A6 murderer, the previous day on the 10th of December 1969. The meeting took place at the Apple offices in London. The details of how the Lennons came in touch with the Hanrattys are vague. Valerie Storey's testimony was critical in securing a guilty verdict, but this was questioned by many who felt the supporting evidence too weak to justify conviction, and Hanratty's brother fought for decades to have the verdict overturned. Even Storey's own Member of Parliament, Joan Lester, insisted Hanratty was innocent, and the journalist Paul Foote campaigned for years to prove Hanratty's innocence. Casting doubt on Valerie Storey's evidence. In 1997, a police inquiry concluded that Hanratty was wrongfully convicted and the case was sent to the Court of Appeal, which ruled in 2002 that a DNA test conclusively proved Hanratty's guilt beyond any doubt. John Lennon stated he believed in Thou shalt not kill and wanted the death penalty abolished during an ABC television interview in 1969 when he discussed his and Yoko's campaign to clear James Hanratty's name just at the time when it looked like the death penalty might return following his suspension in 1965. In line with John Lennon's belief, it's then fitting that Mark Chapman, the man convicted of his murder, did not receive the death penalty 